The Concorso de Eleganza at Villa d'Este is the best event uh, of its kind. Uh, of course, it's in a fantastic uh, setting, but uh, the cars that you see here are uh, extremely beautiful and they are extremely rare. So uh, I always try to bring uh, as many designers out of my team down here as we can, uh, because you see uh, such fantastic shapes, such fantastic attention to detail. Uh, these are things, of course, that we work on every day. Uh, but here, of course, you see how it was done in the past, and uh, it's an incredible source of inspiration. We re-established in 95. At the beginning, it was a little bit difficult. But then uh, we grow up slowly, 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 and today we, we are trying to, to be one of the best shows in the world. And I think that uh, this target is not too far, and it's in reach. We have a very good relationship with BMW. We share exactly the same uh, philosophy about this event. Ourselves, um, we rely on BMW for the organization since uh, seven years now. At the beginning, we were doing it ourselves. We rely with BMW to take care of the organization, and ourselves, we take care about the sun, the flowers, and the setting and the landscape. New materials and technologies are always a source of inspiration. Uh, at BMW we want to uh, do design that is authentic, that uh, befits these materials. Uh, we are at the, um, uh, the moment we are working uh, very hard on making cars out of carbon fiber. And that's what you see in this concept. Uh, we are going to launch uh, the first car uh, in complete carbon fiber structure in the year 2013. Uh, it's an interesting new material that uh, is also a source of inspiration for us. Well, I mean, an obvious detail that is a reference to the old car is the vertical uh, grill. Um, uh, we made it uh, a little bit more uh, solid, uh, a little bit more three-dimensional than the old car. Another visual reference is the round headlamps, uh, but we built them in LED, uh, so that's modern technology. Uh, the whole body of the car is lightweight, like the old car. Uh, but it is now built in carbon fiber. Uh, that is the material of the future if you want to make cars light. The wheel uh, has some reference to the old car. The, uh, the whole pattern is something that the old car has. But this wheel too is built out of milled aluminium and carbon fiber. Uh, so it's using modern materials. Uh, the leather straps are an obvious uh, uh, reference to the car. Um, in the old car, it was used to close the bonnet. Today, we can do it in many different ways, but uh, we thought this was a nice uh, style element. And then the cockpit uh, is fairly reduced, just like the old car. But when you look inside this car, uh, you immediately realize that this car was built for far greater speeds uh, than the car 75 years ago. There's a show called Concorso Italiano. It's a fine show. A lot of our members used to come for the weekend here in Monterey. We wanted something to do. So in turn, we would visit that show, and uh, it, it quickly went from a gathering of BMWs in their parking lot to a situation where we organized a corral, if you will, uh, that quickly turned into a presented corral with clean car contest. From that time forward, uh, it kept going to different plateaus and different levels. Fortunately, we have a very strong uh, organization called the BMW Car Club of America. They are our partners in this show, and it's evolved to what it is today. It's just a wonderful uh, way of letting the people experience without trying to explain to them the lifestyle that we talk about. They can really come here and see it and feel it. I brought a, uh, a 1988 BMW 535iS, and I drove up to San Diego. This is, this is my third year. It's a California car. I bought it uh, about 10 years ago. Um, I put about 25,000 miles on it. It's got 237,000 on it now. The paint color is different. It started off as a royal blue metallic. This, this one's got a little more pearl, a little more sparkle in it. Interior color combination wasn't offered in this year. That's all custom. It's leather and, and uh, M-Tech uh, cloth. I'm hoping to pull a win today. If I can, I'll have the trifecta. It, has, it hasn't lost a show yet, knock on, knock on something. The, sh the show is fantastic. Uh, at the new location here, I like that, it, that it's intermixed so we can get, we get out and mingle. We're at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca here for the 2014 Monterey Motorsports Reunion. This is a 1970 BMW Alpina 2002 Ti. What the Ti means, it stands for Touring International. This was basically before 
they added fuel injection to the 2002, this was the high performance version of the, their, basically their fastest small sedan. This particular car was originally built and sent from the factory to Alpina, which you know is now closely associated with BMW, but at one point was just another racing team. They were a high performance house based out of Germany, and they did their thing to it. They added more power, they added more grip, they put you know, with these fender flares that are known as pig cheek flares and period and basically turn the thing into a hot rod. Makes around 220 horsepower, and revs are about seven, seven and a half thousand RPM, and it's a lot of fun. It's got a lot more grip than motor, and you basically just drive the thing, chucking it into corners and putting your foot down. For some time, it's also the predecessor to the great three liter. Direct for a number of years before. Delage vince la menzione d'onore della giuria e la consegna Dominique Fischlein. Abbiamo un'altra vettura della stessa casa, andiamo in avanti di qualche anno e qui con la prima vettura del concorso di eleganza la Rolls Royce ed è stato un regalo di fidanzamento fisca degli anni 30.